In this video, I'll go over how to jump to the last row in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. So I'll head over to my other sheet. Here I have a table of books. And in your case, you probably have a table or column with a lot of rows. So to jump down, the keyboard shortcut is to use the control key and press the down arrow. So we see it went down to the very last row of my table. Now let me try adding in another table down here just to show what happens if there's some empty rows in between. So if I try that again with the control down arrow, it goes to the end of the row. If I do it again, it'll skip all the blank rows in between and goes to another row where there's some data. Then when I press control down arrow again, it goes to the end where I have a range of cells. So that's the one caveat is if you have empty rows in between for whatever reason, you might have to press control down arrow several times until you actually get to the end. This can occur if maybe you have some missing data in some cells in the row. Whereas if you know there's another row with actual data, for example, this isn't correct, but just to demonstrate, here we have continuous data within a column and then press control down, then actually ends up with the last row. Okay, now another keyboard shortcut is to use control and the end key. Depending on your keyboard, if you're using a laptop or a standard keyboard, your end key might occur on the number pad area or to the left of the number pad area. But you see here, when I press control end, it actually goes to the last row and the last column in the sheet. This is nice because it doesn't matter that I have any blank rows. So if I try that again by deleting data out of these few rows, I'll press control in the end key. So it comes down to cell C27, which is the last row and column of my sheet. So sometimes this might work even better for what you're trying to do than just pressing control down because you have more confidence that you've hit the last row within your sheet. And you don't have to worry about pressing the keyboard shortcut multiple times just to reach the very last row. So that's it for today's quick tip. I hope it was helpful. Feel free to let me know what else you'd like to learn by putting in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and as always, stay nifty.